And hello and a very pleasant welcome to NCTV45. And uh, here we are with the nightly news and uh, a lot of uh, things that uh, we need to get to. And uh, we're going to have that happen. Uh, as uh, it's been... Uh, an interesting quiet afternoon wondering if you got a chance to catch the golf tournament maybe um, you did the respect thing and uh, we did have on the Christmas parade so uh, quite a bit of uh, stuff for you as uh, really, really uh, being a, a great day to uh, be able to sit back and watch some community television. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. You know, also, Mass. And uh, I'd like to thank... Um, Vince Felina for that uh, as um, we uh, got and uh, he, he helps us a lot in um, being able to bring you mass so uh, if you get a chance tell him thanks now um as we continue on, and uh, I'm going to get to the weather, the sports, as uh, everything just uh, getting out there, and uh, want to make sure that uh, you have ample time to uh, tell your friends and share our broadcast and uh, just sit back and relax. So the train is on the tracks. And Newswatch Nightly is straight ahead for you. If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Come dine with us, come dine, come dine today If you could use some real good food There's a place not far away If you could use a drink or two Or a place to go and play Come to Gallo's Italian Villa today Simple elegance in a majestic setting. Yes, right here in downtown Newcastle. Minutes away from shopping. Seconds from a gas station. And let's not forget pastries, a restaurant, and oh yes, the schools. 
the majestic for that majestic lifestyle right in the greatest castle Newcastle come by and take a look Chuck Tanner would be proud of the restaurant that bears his name. Chuck Tanner's Restaurant, owned and operated by the Papazikas family, would love for you to be part of a Newcastle tradition. Come enjoy the great breakfast, super lunch, and second-to-none dinner choices from their Italian, Mediterranean, and American cuisine. You can relax with a wonderful atmosphere and something from the bar. If you're planning an event, ask about their banquet facility. Tanner's Restaurant is located at 2305 Wilmington Road in New Shannock Township. Call 724-658-15. Hey, welcome back, and uh, well, it's time to um, do a whole bunch of things. Here's your weather right now. If you're looking out the window, it's cloudy and 41. If you're looking at me, this is my flannel shirt. I felt real relaxed the other day when I wore my flannel shirt, but I, um, I promise I will not continue the look tomorrow. I, I, you know, as, uh, but it just, it felt comfortable. It was cool the last few days. And yeah, I have a t-shirt under it. So I didn't want you to think that I was just going crazy. Now, um, here we go with, um, Newswatch Nightly. And, um, this in from the insurance uh, department. Uh, she called to highlight health insurance special enrollment periods and available of Medicaid and CHIPS following COVID-19 layoffs. And um, in, in essence, um, What they're doing is, if you go to bcwa at pa.gov to receive a call-in number, okay, um, and I don't think that's it, uh, but contact your local uh, county office because I and I understand people that got laid off may have no health insurance and uh, following that um, she highlighted today the problem with this and uh, healthcare.gov to be reopened for individuals who are uninsured so if you have lost your insurance due to that, rather than even do the call number, I would go to healthcare.gov Wolf, in collaboration with Pennsylvania Department of Health and Human Services and Insurance sent a formal letter to the U.S. federal government requesting that the marketplace be open. So, uh, that's where that is. Um, new numbers. 270 positives bringing 851 to the state. And um, let me kind of address that a second. As um, they've seen this increase, there's still the middle the northern if you draw a line across the middle part of the state going east and west aside from the eastern counties right now above interstate 80 very few COVID as a matter of fact three um, there uh, and then you've got two in Mercer's, five, none in Lawrence, and one in Butler. 
So, uh, you know, that part of the state, doing well, excuse me, 27 warnings were issued to non-essential businesses. Um, please, uh, and I know it's got to be tough, because um, it's tough for a lot of those individuals that depend on those other businesses that the governor deemed non-essential. So, um, hang in there and let's hope they get the bill passed. The Hoyt is doing online art lessons and resources for art artists impacted by COVID-19. Um, in addition, uh, we anticipate the summer classes to be July 7th through the 31st. Uh, and the Summer Arts Festival, Children's Summer Arts Festival, the 31st of July. So uh, they're just hanging in there. Uh, now, we're going to take this break, and uh, I've got more here, but I think you need a little baseball. See, we air all this for you so that you have a great opportunity to get mass during the day, a parade. There are so many positives that you can bring out of this. And it's all right here for you on NCTV 45. Kings were playing Beaver. The Beaver Bobcats and uh, the Red Hurricanes had a great day. Now, I'm just going to bebop through it because you got to watch it a little bit later. So, it's the Cedars Sports Corner. Hey, Cedars has takeout. Tanners has takeout. Tuscany has takeout. Crane Room has takeout. All of our sponsors still out there and really getting ready for you. As my phone went off, isn't that pretty? So uh, let's go to the Cedar Sports Corner, and we'll be right back. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle. 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. And uh Yeah, I think the second one you got was just a beat over towards American Ninja Micheletti up. Buck gets down and. Oh, he's called out. 
12 hits and two errors for the Canes. One run, four hits, and one error for the Bridgers. Swing and a miss. Two outs. Wind picking up. Foul back and up. On Friday at Obama Academy in East Liberty in Pittsburgh. On our Monday night, we win the opening session game. Thanks for watching NCTV 45. Today's game, drive home safely. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Penn, Ohio Bottled Water Company. Home, residential, commercial, water coolers. You can contact us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. PM, we're fast, efficient, and we deliver water. We offer 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. Contact us today at 724-498-4760. This program brought to you by Cummings Landscaping and Design. Random Cummings Lower Operator. I am back playing with the buttons. Wow. Okay, and yeah, I, I bowed in the first segment. No more. This is, uh, I had wore the red one. I wore the blue one. I'm not going to get and uh, wear the blue again tomorrow or anything like that. Uh, so, I will make sure that that's not the case. Now, uh, as we get back to what's going on, 41 degrees and cloudy, and, um, we've got Newswatch, and, uh, here you go, PennDOT. Now, listen, I, I had this break across my phone. There's a lot of, and I want to watch how I say this because I don't want anybody mixed up. That press release from the state says that PennDOT reopens rest areas. All areas will return to normal. Additional cleaning and maintenance 
complete locations and for Lawrence County, I-79 northbound, 3.5 miles north of exit 105, south of exit 113. Okay, they've opened them in Mercer. All 79, 80, 81, 84. Well, 80, 81, 81 and 84 aren't close to us. 80 in our area uh, would be like, um, well, they opened it in Center County. They opened 79 in Mercer. The rest areas in Mercer County. 141 and 130 uh, exits, and then I told you about Lawrence County, and eight miles north of exit 45 in Allegheny County. So um, the rest areas got open. That's a good thing. The Wolf Administration reminds Pennsylvanians of food assistance programs and resources and encourages volunteerism to keep life-sustaining food services available and um, that's out there uh, we have not heard from the the pantries but please if there is a pantry kitchen or something around that is open let us know so we can pass it on Uh, that gets us pretty much through the uh, mailbag of pages as um, there's a couple other things that I want to take a look at and we will do that. Now, um, as we continue on Greenville, their uh, Chamber of Commerce lets us know that uh, they're following through all the same things. Busy Beaver up there, 7.30 to 6, Monday through Saturday, 8 to 6, Sunday. And uh, the restaurants are open for takeout only. And Greenville Tire and Rubber Auto Parts remains open for your car needs. So, uh, uh, basically following all oh, Good Shepherd here. Now see, this is Good Shepherd Thrift, Theft, Thrift, okay. Good Shepherd Thrift, closed to the public. Food pantry serve curbside, okay. And uh, so, therefore, you know what's going on there. Now, um, the blood drive, the 25th, 11th to 6th, Lawrence Village Plaza, they're short on blood. State parks are closed. So they opened the restrooms and closed the state parks. Okay, and uh, we told you about the Hoyt and their online art uh, so uh, that kind of gets you into where we're at right now and uh, I'm gonna take well while we go to weather okay I'm gonna um, get you those last updates here is um, radar and just showers, but they're to the south of us significantly. And uh, as you take a look at, we'll take a look at Pittsburgh radar and see, and they're almost to the south of Pittsburgh as they're moving southeast. So, um, we seem to be in a very good spot and uh, let's take a look at the weather here's what you got outside right now 76 percent humidity with 41 degrees and um, 
Winds are east at 8. Barometric pressure 30.12, dew point 34, visibility 10. Now the wind chill makes it feel like 36. I didn't really think so. But BSBs, Tuscany Square, and yeah, you got it. Easy clean car wash. All bringing you the weather. Let's go to that. We'll be back. BSP. Big Shot Bobs are the wings for me. 50 flavors make it right you see. BSB has sandwiches you have to try. Stop in and you'll know why. Every day of the week you see. Call or stop in to BSB. Big Shot Bobs will be your favorite place. Just like me. Easy clean car and van wash. Where your clean wash is our goal. weather and um, well a little rain yesterday and after last night's cloudy low of 33 how's your rest of the week looking as you look at the local radar that's the rain from yesterday kind of moving out and setting us up for our Tuesday the national scene paints a little bit better picture as um, you see clearing to our south and east, west excuse me what's that <coughs> mean for us well as uh, I click the right one last night cloudy 33 your Tuesday Cloud's going to separate and move out. You'll see some peaks of sun, high of 53. Wind will come around to the east at 5 miles an hour by the afternoon. Now, Tuesday night, low 42, 90% chance of showers. So the rain moves back in, sets you up for a rainy Wednesday. 51, 80% chance of rain. Your Wednesday night, mostly cloudy, 38. Rain kind of moves out and sets you up for a cloudy, partly sunny Thursday with a high of 60. Thursday night, showers move back in. 60% chance of rain. A lot of cloud cover, 42 and your Friday becomes showers and 57. 60% chance of rain. Now, Friday night, showers, low 45, 80% chance. Saturday, showers, 61, 80% chance. Get you to Saturday night, Cloudy, 44, 50% chance of rain, and then set you up for Sunday, mostly cloudy, high of 57, and uh, you got some sun. So it's basically sun, rain, sun, rain, the whole way out. Now that was Lawrence County 45 weather, and um, we're going to take this break. And we'll be right back after we hear from Tuscany Square. Tuscany Square, Westman 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets today's modern conveniences. You'll enjoy their spacious, comfortable seating. Their fresh ingredients that go into making every dish, whether it's pizza. 
Pizza, or at Just Right Entree, Tuscany Square Restaurant. We're here to serve you. Call 724-654-3065. Okay. He's going okay. Here he comes. Hello, and we're back, and uh, this just in. <laughs> uh, you, you probably uh, remember on Newswatch, I told you Governor Wolf extended two more weeks of the school closures. The Newcastle Area School District will remain closed at least through April 10th and will tentatively resume classes April 14th unless otherwise directed by officials. Uh, and we will continue to keep you updated on that. So tentatively resuming the 14th, but they'll let you know. Uh, thank you to Newcastle Area School District for uh, bringing that to our attention. And um, we appreciate that update. As uh, we continue to, with news watching, uh, this uh, Women of Faith, April 22nd, Bill of Banquet Center, $20 a person, RSVP to Madeline before. April 10th, 724-614-3453. Or Sandy, 724-657-0138. And uh, they're going to have pasta, meatballs, chicken. This looks like a good deal. Go and have a great time. Broadcasting from the beautiful Majestic, it's NCTV45. Great to have you along. The Master Gardener Series scheduled for the 18th. Okay, and I think you can register online. Now, um, registration at 8.30, and then the program from 9 to 3.30. 135 Decker Drive, First United Methodist Church. And um, the 5K run is Saturday, April 18th for the pool. And let's hope everything's back to normal and that can continue. So, um, that gives you some idea of uh, what's going on in this um, crazy type of setup that I, I've never seen anything like it before. So, uh, I'm, tonight I can tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be working on that cook in a castle for you. And this is going to be really special. I, uh, I think you'll like this one. Now, um, let's uh, hear from these folks and we'll be back with the wrap up. This program brought to you by Cummings Landscaping and Design. Random Cummings Lower Operator. At our law firm, 
we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. Is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Okay, folks, so we are back, and uh, yeah. As uh, the evening draws closer, I'm going to um, work on my cooking the castle for you. So uh, this night, this will be pretty good. I think you'll like it. Good old American style dish, and uh, it'll just be excellent. And uh, so you'll be watching that on Thursday, because no virus is going to stop cooking the castle. And uh, make sure that you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. Anything that comes out breaking, we'll get it out to you. We're your trusted news source, always in the pursuit of excellence. So tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And when they say, but I don't watch a lot of TV, you tell them that NCTV 45 why, we're available anytime on your time. He has a train that runs on your schedule. That's NCTV 45. Make sure you get that second cup of lemonade, coffee, iced tea, whatever you're drinking. And have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the County of Lawrence. So have a great day, have a great evening all, and we'll see you again real soon. The illusion got my ticket for the midnight plane.